The diagnosis is a degenerative disc with severe foraminal narrowing causing the leg pain. In other words, there's collapse of the tunnel where the nerve exits the spine. Given your failure of multimodal conservative therapy and your ongoing dysfunction and impact on your quality of life, my recommendation for a definitive treatment of this problem is a minimally invasive lateral lumbar interbody fusion. That's an operation that allows me into a very efficient fashion to elevate or lift the affected vertebral segment, in this case the L4-5 segment, off of the exiting L4 nerve. It's a type of minimally invasive fusion where via a tube type retractor I access your spine via a lateral direct approach. Uh, that operation allows me to remove the remainder of that degenerative disc and insert a, a 3D printed titanium implant that acts to lift up that vertebral segment up off the affected exiting nerve. This is an innovative, newer way to perform a fusion in contrast to some of the traditional posterior approaches, which may have a negative impact on the paraspinal muscle envelope, which is a supporting structure on the spine. This minimally invasive approach from the side has minimal impact on that supporting uh, muscle envelope and therefore enhances long-term outcomes in your initial post-operative experience. That operation takes approximately one hour and I keep patients in the hospital for one overnight for observation. Uh, once home for the first three months after the intervention, cardiovascular exercise is a key component to your recovery process. I have patients focus on walking, elliptical trainers, or even a recumbent stationary bicycle as you build your stamina back up in that recovery period. I have patients resist torsional type activities such as golf, tennis, or other more strenuous activities that involve heavy lifting more than 25 or, 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 or so pounds. At the three month mark, we begin outpatient to physical therapy with return of course stabilization modalities. And at that point, we begin transitioning to lifting more restrictions until we get to the six-month post-operative time point when all restrictions are lifted. If there are any questions at any stage of, of the uh, post-operative recovery, my team is here 24 hours a day. We have scheduled follow-ups at certain intervals that we try to make as convenient as possible for patients uh, regardless of where they're traveling from.